What is up everybody, Monster Jeff Fanatic here, back again with another Monster Truck unboxing video. We have three Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and three Spin Master Monster Jam Trucks. Um, I'm not going to be opening this one, but I did find all six of these trucks at Target today. I was going to record a video, but I just didn't feel up to it. And I was wearing a mask inside the store and it'd be hard for me to talk in there anyway. But I did find a train truck, El Toro Loco. I already have one, but I got a second one because they are chase pieces and I wanted a second one in package. So we're not going to open this, but I did want to show it off. I think everyone knows what the train truck El Toro Loco looks like. Like, I think everyone knows what all the training trucks looks like. I still need Dragon. I still need the Megalodon. I need Gravedigger. And I think, I believe one more. Like, I did not complete all my training trucks, but I wasn't really expecting to. Hopefully, I will complete all the ride trucks. But there is the training trucks, El Toro Loco. But we will be opening the rest of the trucks, which are five. There are five trucks. We have three more Hot Wheels Monster trucks and two Spin Master trucks, which is a double pack uh, that I finally got. I've been looking for actually all these trucks for quite a while now. So here is the first truck we're going to be opening. This is the Hot Wheels Monster trucks Bad Catitude with the purple roll cage and green wheel so we're gonna get this out of the package the packaging is kind of bad too so here are the trucks on the back i need four i need the all fight up bad catitude v bomber and bone shaker so without further ado let's take a look at the bad catitude First off, here's the crushable car that comes with it. It is a yellow van, which I don't have too many yellow vans. I, I know that for a fact. So there is the yellow van. Pretty cool. Now for the truck, here it is. The sides are different. So let's take a look at the side. Here is the first side we have. It looks like a... I don't even know what that is. I know it's a cat or something because it's bad catitude. Um, but it does look like a bull. Like It has like horns coming out from the nose. It's kind of weird. Um, we have the hot bus symbol on the back here with the monster truck symbol as well. We have silver side panels on the front. Um, we have grass, of course. Um, and and then on the top here, it says bad catitude with more grass on the top. That is pretty cool. And then the green tires, the purple rims and um, like a transparent it actually kind of looks bluish. The beadlocks kind of look like a blue. And then in other angles, it looks purple like the rims. But anyways, that's pretty cool. Um, we have the purple roll cage as well. Um, silver chassis, nothing special there. Here's the other side. It's more uh, grassy, more leaves on this side. It goes from the top actually to the side, as you can see. And then on the back here, it says bad catitude. But here's this side. You have the same creature that was on the other side on this side lurking in the leaves and grass and it says bad catitude once again with the hot was moss truck symbol on this side as well and then the front and grill has like these uh it looks like like spider webs or something i actually have no clue what that is but that looks pretty cool the front and grill it slowly turns into like a silver and it looks like a big paint chip but that is not the case obviously since i just took this out of the package it is brand new so there is the first truck that is bad catitude we're gonna open the second spin master truck next one's from the same case it's a truck i named on on the back and it is all fried up i found all of the trucks actually i'm gonna just say i found all the trucks that i needed on the back except one take a guess which one it is that i did not get so we have this one and one more that i needed from the back it's actually my favorite truck in the case so at least i got my favorite truck but without further ado let's take a look at all fried up so we just have a regular blue crushable car, nothing special there, but if you are a Hot Wheels Monster Trucks fan, we got an all beefed up casting in the summer of last year. Um, that is a van, but this one is completely different um, from all beefed up. This is all fried up, so it's all fried up right there. You, see, you can see the fries, all of them have faces, that is pretty cool. We have the Hot Wheels and Monster Trucks symbol on the back fender, as you can see. On the front here on the hood, we have the all fried up symbol. There are some fries on the top here, as you can see, um, pretty pretty funny. I, this truck is okay, not my favorite truck but it also has a red windshield i just realized that it has a red tint to the windshield the wheels are red um tires are black nothing special there on the back it says all fried up once again and that's basically it so all fried up pretty basic but there's nothing wrong with that um still looks pretty cool now for the final hot wheels monster truck we have the green v8 bomber which is probably one of my favorite trucks if not my favorite truck from hot wheels monster trucks this year other than the bigfoot of course so we're gonna move these these two trucks in the back out of the way and take a look at the green v8 bomber We got a lot of colorful crush cars today. They are all different colors. We have the red van, the blue car, and then the yellow van. So that's cool. They're all different. So here is the navy green V8 bomber. A lot of people know what V8 bomber looks like. This truck even competes in real life in the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Store. Obviously in silver though. But on the front here it says Hot Wheels with the teeth on the grill. That looks awesome. We have the uh, dog or whatever with the army or soldier hat on it looks like or something there. It says V8 bomber of course. This truck just looks so awesome. It has the uh, the eyes and teeth on the side. Um, and it says v8 bomber in a nice vintage looking font that is pretty cool as you can see it has x's all over the rest of the trucks in the tour because well v8 bomber is obviously superior but then we have yellow beadlocks black rims we have a dark green 
uh, chassis, which is pretty cool, and black roll cage. So there is the green vape bomber. Definitely my favorite truck from the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks um, part or category today. Um, definitely beats out Bad Cat and all fried up. Nothing against them, but V8 Bomber is just such an awesome and cool looking truck. So there is the V8 Bomber. Now for the final two trucks. Like I said, they were in a double pack, so we're going to be opening them at the same time. I've been wanting both of these trucks for so long, and here they are. It is the Scooby-Doo and Mystery Machine doubles pack. These two trucks look awesome. I'll show you the back. I now have every single um, truck from the last mix of the doubles from last year. Um, so on the back, we have El Toro Loco and Slinger. I obviously have that. I have Slinger. I have Husky. I have all the uh, doubles trucks. I have Aftershock, too. So without further ado, we're going to get these two trucks open, and we're going to take a look at this especially. But we also needed Scooby-Doo, so we're going to take a look at that, too. So let's take them out of the package. But we will take a look at Scooby-Doo first, even though we have not gotten this truck for Spin Master up until just now. So this is my first casting of it. I haven't gotten it in the singles yet. Obviously, I had I would make a video on that if I did. So here is the Scooby-Doo Spin Master. We have the awesome BKTs, which automatically make this truck amazing. Um, we have the uh, turquoise blue rims. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's not a big deal. It's okay. It would be better if it matched the color of the collar because this is more of a blue than this. That's okay. Everyone else with Scooby-Doo looks like. Here's the tail. They could have done a little better on the tail, but I'm not complaining too much. It's not that bad it is like a rubber and you can bend it so that's pretty cool we have the floppy ears of course we have the nose the whiskers the tongue coming out from the side you know everyone knows what scooby-doo looks like it has the symbol right there it has a monster symbol on the back uh, side panel and then on the tailgate it says scooby-doo and then it has the copyright stuff of course on the bottom so there is scooby-doo pretty awesome and we'll put that we'll put that right there so now for the mystery machine this truck is literally a boat it's so cool so here is the mystery machine it has the bkt tires of course it has green wheels which actually does go good with the truck would have been better or it would have been more uh, appropriate to see these color wheels on this truck since uh, basically it's the same color as the color of the mystery machine body but it's okay um so obviously this truck is replicated off of a volkswagen bus so that's pretty awesome we have the little thing that the volkswagen buses have on the front here i actually don't know what this exact what this means exactly it is a plastic piece though it has a flower or something on it we have the lights we do have painted headlights we have some green striping going Going across um, the mystery machine van so it says the mystery machine on the side here with more flowers we have the monster symbol which looks really cool on that on this on this casting here's the other side it is the same and then on the back there's nothing on the back we do have painted tail lights though so that's pretty awesome so those are the five trucks that I have for you guys well six but these are the five trucks I I had for you guys to unbox at least today so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and of course subscribe if you have not already and you are new to the channel I would appreciate that thanks for watching once again have a nice day and peace out